Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem, remove k digits. Given a non-negative integer num, representing as a string, remove k digits from the number so that the new number is the smallest possible. Note, the length of num is less than 10,002 and will be greater than equals to k. The given num does not contain any leading zeros. So let us consider some examples. So for this num with k equals 3, the output is 1, 2, 1, 9. So what we did is we simply remove these three digits 4 3 and 2 and we are left with 1 2 1 9 which is the smallest possible number for in case the next example the num is 10200 and k equals 1 so what we did is we removed the leading one and after removing the leading one we are left with 0 2 0 0 and since we have a leading 0 we will remove this leading 0 so the string we are left with is 200 and which is the output so let us see how we can solve this problem so what we are going to do in this problem is we are going to maintain a stack of characters now the string is given to us, we will iterate over the string and for each character we will simply put that character onto the stack. Correct. Now before putting the character onto the stack, we will just check one thing. In case the stack is not empty and k is positive and the peak of the stack is greater than the current element, we will remove the peak of the stack. So this is what we have written over here in this quote. That is we are iterating over the string. We are checking whether the stack is not empty, k is positive and the peak is greater than the current element. We will remove the peak and we will decrement the k. And this will be under a while loop. And finally, after this while loop is over, we will simply put the current character onto the stack. So let us try to debug this example for this code. So let us consider that the string given to us is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 6, 4. The k value is 4. Uh, so the result is going to be 1, 2, 2, 4. So let us try to debug this thing with the help of this example. So initially one will come. So we'll simply put one on the stack. Then two will come. We'll put two on the stack. If you check for this condition, you can check that the peak of the stack is not greater than C. So peak of the stack is one. So one is not greater than two. So we will simply be out of this while loop and we will simply put two over the stack. Similarly, we will put one, two, three, four, five over the stack. Correct. Next two will come. Now when 2 will come, you check the, this is the stack that we are maintaining and this stack is not empty. The value of k is positive, it is 4 and the peak that is 5 is greater than 2. So what we will do is we will simply remove 5 and we will decrement the value of k. That is we have removed one digit, correct. Then since it's a while loop, we will again go in this loop. So we will again check for the same thing. So as you can see, the stack will consist of 1, 2, 3, 4, which is not empty. The k value is decremented by 1, so it is 3, which is greater than 0. And the peak, which is 4, is still greater than 2. So we will remove this 4 as well. We will decrement the value of k. And similarly, we will remove this 3 as well, and we will decrement the, uh, the value of k by 1. So it will be 1 after this iteration. So after this, we will simply put 2 over the stack. Now we will put 6 over the stack. For 4, again, we will go in this loop, and we will be able to remove 6. So we have removed one more digit. So Ultimately, we have digit, removed the four digits. So the left in the stack are one, two, two, four, which is the result. Correct. So this is the algorithm that we are going to use. Now there are some corner cases that we need to handle. So let me show you guys the corner cases. So this is the corner case one. So it's written over here. After doing the stack trick, we removed m digits, which is less than the r's, that is k. In this case, we just need to remove the additional k minus m digits from the tail of the sequence. So what do I mean by that? So see, while you're applying this part of the code over the string, if you can see, we are in case the string is in increasing order. So one, two, three, four, five, we won't be able to remove any digit using this loop. Correct. Only when two occurs, which is less than the peak, we are able to remove some elements from the stack. Correct. So what I mean to say is, let us try to implement this stack technique over this string with k equals 3. So if you apply that part of the algorithm, you will only be able to remove this digit that is 3. In the stack, you will be left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So k will be reduced by 1, which is 2. So we removed only one digit and we were asked to remove three digits. So in this case, what we will do is we will simply remove the rest of the digits from the tail. That is, we will remove this part. So the left of the string is one, two, three, four, five, which is returned as the output. One more case is that 
Once we remove the k digits from the sequence, there could be some leading zeros left. In this case, we will remove the leading zeros. So this example we have already seen in case the number is this and k equals one. So you will remove this and the rest of the string is this. So it consists of leading zeros. So we have to remove the leading zeros as well. So the output is 200. So let me just write the code for this algorithm and then things will be more clear. Okay, so let me just remove this code. Okay, so let's consider some base cases in case k equal equal zero you don't have to remove anything just return the current num in case k equal equal num dot length you can simply return zero why because you have removed every digit now we'll implement the stack technique so we will be having a stack of character stack okay uh, yes new stack and we will iterate over the current string for int i equals so let me do it by a care only care c num dot to care array so what we did is we simply put the current character over the stack before this we need to check something right so we have to use a file loop over here so we have to check when the stack is not empty and k is positive and the peak element is greater than the current element you will simply pop the peak element and decrement k by one after this loop is over we need to handle the case one that is we are handling this case currently this case so we have to remove the rest of the digits from the end. So we will simply do stack dot pop. Correct. Now this number will be stored in reverse order in the stack. So we need a string builder. String builder lb equals new string builder. So you will just do while not stack dot is empty. You will simply append. the current character onto the string builder and after this you will just reverse the string builder after this we need to handle one more case that we there is this case case 2 that is remove the leading zeros so what we will do is while sb dot length is greater than 1 and sb dot char at 0 this equal equal 0 we will simply do i guess the method name is delete carrot i guess this is the name of the method uh, this will be as we this is going to be zero and after this we can simply return as b dot to string so let me just see this code k equals zero this condition is satisfied so this looks good. Let me just run the code. So it's giving the correct result. Let me submit the solution. So it got accepted. So I guess that's it from the video. In case you have learned anything from the video, you can hit that like button. And in order to support my work, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.